do you feel being here? What do you think about it? How happy? Emotional. Emotional. I've shed a lot of tears when I've been on this parade. It's very emotional. I think about friends that have gone here. <laughs> There's not many left at all now. A lot of them can't walk or invalids. I was, uh, when I was escaping, I lost my uniform, boots, everything. I had to wrap my feet up in sacking. And that's what's wrong with my feet now. Trouble from that. Too much walking on no shoes up to fit me. I did write a book, it's called The Long Way Round by William Moore. Worth reading. I think teachers are to blame for the apathy of children not knowing anything about the war. The teachers don't know anything themselves. So they don't bother to look it up to tell the children. The, the children want to know, but they're not told. It's, uh, I think it's time they were told. Everything about the war. Not just bits that they think is interesting, but uh, everything about it they should tell the children. Children will listen. They want to know they're hungry, hungry for it. Anything you can teach them, teach them. They're hungry for it. I don't, I, I'm a little bit emotional yet, so I, I don't, uh, I don't think there's anything else I can tell you. He got the MC and he recommended us for a medal too, but they wouldn't give us one. And uh, so he gave, he gave us a present like this. Here have you a trap with you by now. That's my name on, on there. Can you see it? Um, that's the inscription on it. So where did you get this from? Off the officer that brought us through. Lieutenant uh, brought. He went on he went on to become a colonel in the regiment. And uh, he he got the uh, the Legion he got the Legion down there, Avic Trois Palm, after he left France, went into Spain, and the Spanish people were terrible with, with us. They were? Yeah, it was terrible. Got put in jail, I was in six different jails. And six different jails? Yeah, and the concentration camp. Yeah, in, near the... In Spain. Near the coast, was it? No, uh, inland. Yeah. Okay, in England, right. No, in Spain. Spain, but near the coast in Spain. No, uh, inland. Inland. It's in Spain. Oh, inland, not England. Inland. No. What do you mean? Is the name of the concentration camp? No. Uh, no. What? 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 Miranda. Miranda de Bro. They were worse than the Germans. Yeah. It was uh, the Franco regime, was it? Yeah, I've never been back since. No. Done, done with the, with, the, with the Spaniards. Yes. Uh, how did you get to uh, to the prison in France? In France. We were fighting in France in 39-40. We were the last British troops to be fighting. We, that's how we come to be taken prisoner with no ammunition left. 
with nothing left, no food, no ammunition. <coughs> so Only uh, your lieutenant and your five jocks. Seven. Six. <laughs> right, seven. Seven of them. I was taken prisoner in St. Valery in France and I escaped and got back home through France and Spain to Gibraltar. And where, where are you come from? England, Cheshire. And what brought you here? Willem asked me to come to see the parade. It's lovely. Oh, I never dreamt it would be anything like this at all. It was, uh, it's been very beautiful and very touching, you know. I was thinking about the uh, people that came up through these towns and were welcomed by the Dutch people. And after they'd gone through Holland, they got, a lot of them got killed then. But uh, it must have done them good to have the welcome that they got in Holland. So I've come to shed a tear for them, you see. Are you here by yourself? My son's with me. I've come without my tablets. Oh. And they're having difficulty getting them from the hospital. He's, he's just ringing about it now. Oh, do you need any help? Do you need any help? For a blem you have on your head? Kodikunri. It means help the royal, help the king or help the queen. <clears throat> and it's the, the Seafall Highlanders. And the Seafall Highlanders was part of the 51st Highland Division. And George here was uh, in 19... You, you, you tell the story yourself or I've, shall I I've cut it in short? I've told her that I escaped from the Germans. Yes, in uh, 1940. And properly, and we haven't gone through it. My, my fiance was one of them. She was shot by the Germans. And it brings that sort of thing last night brought it all back. Uh, and you, you have to expect it if you come over here. But I don't think in England they, they appreciate the fact that they, but they've never been overrun, you see. Hey, um, so. It's only on the continent where people have been under the government of the Third Reich. They can understand it. They, oh, some flies bright in here. And, uh, it was so emotional, and the parade we had yesterday, that was the same to me. I don't know what else you want me to say. I think the Dutch people have been very, very nice to me. Well, if you don't mind, I would like to thank you for our freedom. You're quite welcome, as far as I'm concerned. And I think British people should be made to realize what it was like. I yeah. think if people would remember the history more than we do now, there would not be as much war. No. People go to war much too easily. Too easy, yes. You should yeah. talk first. In, in England they don't get any history at all, I don't think it's school. Children say to me, what was it all about? They don't know. It says, 
rich people being too greedy and wanting more. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And I think that's the answer to, to the question, really. Rich people want more money, so they go to war, they make more guns, more animals, more tanks. Working class people, they don't do it. They just get drawn in to the system by being conscripted. Absolutely. Uh, uh, if anyone asks me if I would go back in the war again another time, I would say yes, after all the MPs have been in registered. Let them lead the way. Yeah. That's probably a really good choice. Yeah, well, I'm fond of the country, same as everyone else's. But nowadays, I would, I would much rather do it that way. After all, the MPs have come and joined up. We could. I think it's the same for any country. Yeah. Maybe not any country, because Holland, they didn't. They didn't start the war, did they? There's no say in it, they just had to pick up arms and do the best they could. Uh, but we didn't start the war, it was, it was all down to the Germans, wasn't it? Greed. I got a bit emotional last night. I couldn't, I couldn't stop crying, I couldn't have spoke last night. Yeah. It was, uh, it's one of those things that you don't forget in a hurry. No. But it's up to people like us to make sure that the children learn about it and don't forget it. Don't make the same mistakes. Don't make them into soldiers, just... Make them into listeners, listeners.